Reverend Insanity. Chapter 371. Just let him fly a bit higher. The Legends of Ren Zhu Chapter 2, Section 3. The sunlight of the immemorial antiquity era shone on all living beings. Cicadas made noises, giving off the clamor of life. Dense green trees formed a large area of shade as they swayed with the wind. A large vat of delicious wine was in front of Verdant Great Sun, but he frowned, having no desire to drink. Divine Travel Goo, O oh Divine Travel Goo, you have harmed me so deeply. Right now, I do not even dare to drink wine. I am afraid of getting drunk and end up transported to a dangerous land by you. Verdant Great Sun sighed in anguish. The previous two times he was sent into the ordinary abyss by Divine Travel Goo, as well as the cauldron of the hairy men. Thankfully he was lucky and made it out of both the incidents alive. Divine Travel Goo said, Prince of humans, I was not intentionally harming you. In fact, every time you got drunk, you were the one who used my power. I am innocent in fact, I even saved your life once, didn't I? Divine Travel Goo had in fact saved Verdant Great Sun's life from the tiger-striped honeybees before. Verdant Great Sun's expression was dejected. Sigh, don't mention the past. Now because of you, I do not dare to drink wine. My life has become meaningless and boring. Hearing this, Divine Travel Goo felt ashamed. In that case, let me teach you a method. Go up into the sky, and in the azure heaven among the nine heavens, there is a bamboo forest. Inside the bamboo forest, pluck a jade bamboo that is jade sky in color. Next, go to blue heaven and during the night time, collect the eight-sided diamonds inside the star fragments. Next, when it is dawn, fly into the sky and use the light of glory of the rising sun to turn me into fixed immortal travel goo. Once I become that goo, I will no longer send you to random places when you are drunk. Verdant Great Sun heard this, and he was overjoyed. But he thought about it and felt that hope was slim. Oh goo, I have stepped on the earth since I was born. I am not as light as clouds, nor do I have wings like birds. How can I fly into the azure heaven and pluck the jade bamboo? How can I collect the eight-sided diamonds in the star fragments? not to mention flying towards the rising sun. Divine Travel Goo said, That is right, humans cannot fly. But it is not a problem, we can ask Wisdom Goo. It has the greatest wisdom in this world, there has to be a way. Verdant Great Sun and Wisdom Goo were old acquaintances. The reason Verdant Great Sun started drinking was because of Wisdom Goo's teachings. But Wisdom Goo taught him to drink merely because it did not want to be disturbed. Sensing that Verdant Great Sun was going to find it again, Wisdom Goo quickly went into hiding. Verdant Great Sun did not find Wisdom Goo and felt dejected. But Divine Travel Goo said again, If we can't find Wisdom Goo, we can find Cognition Goo, it is the mother of Wisdom Goo. Verdant Great Sun quickly found Cognition Goo and requested for the methods of flying. Cognition Goo answered, you found the right person because cognition is the wings of freedom. But everyone's thoughts are different. What wings you have depends on yourself. Saying so, Cognition Goo turned into a warm light and shone on Verdant Great Sun. In the light, a pair of white pure feathered wings appeared behind Verdant Great Sun's back. This pair of wings was very beautiful, white and pure like snow, without a trace of impurity, it was like the wings of a white crane. Cognition Goo took a look and said, mm, This pair of wings is called self. Everyone has their own self-cognition. This pair of wings has a high degree of flexibility and freedom. But you must be careful. Do not overly bask in sunlight, otherwise your sense of self will either expand or shrink. Young man, you must remember my words. The higher you fly, the harder you fall. Cognition Goo thought and said the last sentence with deep meaning. Obtaining the cognition wings named Self, Verdant Great Sun was very happy and flew into the sky. He flew and flew, going higher and higher. Humans were not born to fly, like birds soaring in the sky. This brought Verdant Great Sun great curiosity. He played around freely in the sky, extremely happy. At the same time, he remembered Cognition Goo's warning, 
and did not overly expose himself to sunlight. When it was sunny, he would hide in the clouds. Like this, verdant great sun flew higher and higher, finally reaching the limits of heaven, the end of azure heaven. There, jade bamboos grew in the air, having lustrous green leaves. These jade bamboos were rooted in the void, and their tips also extended into the unknown void. Looking from outside, one could only see their thin, long stem. Verdant Great Sun retrieved one segment of the bamboo casually. This dark green bamboo stem was like jade, palm-sized and hollow in the middle, giving off a cold feeling. Verdant Great Sun obtained the jade bamboo and was very happy, he continued flying upwards. The sky of the immemorial antiquity era had nine levels. White heaven, red heaven, orange heaven, yellow heaven, green heaven, azure heaven, blue heaven, purple heaven, and black heaven. Verdant Great Sun plucked the jade bamboo in azure heaven. A few days later, he flew to the higher blue heaven. It was nighttime, and stars were shining the, the sky. The stars flew around happily, raining down stardust. These stardust gathered into a sea, a beautiful river of light made of silver stars flowing across the entire blue heaven. Verdant Great Sun willed his wings and plunged into the star river to swim. He searched painstakingly in the endless stardust. He did not want those seven-sided or sixteen-sided fragments, he only wanted the eight-sided ones. These star fragments were like diamonds, crystal clear and flawless. He searched for a long time before finding one. On the second day, Verdant Great Sun flew towards the rising sun at the break of dawn. The sunrise was like a large red lantern, emitting a warm light. This sunlight was not ordinary, it was the light of glory, it could shine on all living beings and penetrate the river of time. Verdant Great Sun's left hand was holding into the jade bamboo, his right hand was holding the eight-sided diamond as he flew towards the sun and summoned Divine Travel Goo. Basking under the light of glory, Divine Travel Goo swallowed the star fragment and entered the jade bamboo. O oh, Verdant Great Sun, I need time to metamorphosize and become fixed immortal Travel Goo. During this period, you have to fly towards the sun and do not leave the light of glory. But you have to be more careful, Cognition Gu had said, pay attention to the self-wings on your back. Once my transformation ends, you should fly towards the cloud cover immediately. Do remember, remember. Divine Travel Gu reminded. Verdant Great Sun laughed heartily. O oh, Gu, rest assured. I have even survived the ordinary abyss and lived after the hairy men, I have the reputation goo, and have transcended vanity, the light of glory can do nothing to me. Then I can stop worrying. Divine travel goo's voice weakened, as the sunlight turned into threads, forming a cocoon and wrapping the divine travel goo and the jade bamboo. Verdant great sun moved his pure white wings, flying towards the sun. During this process, the light cocoon became thicker and heavier. A moment later, the cocoon was burst open, and a butterfly glowing in green light flew out. I succeeded, from today onwards, I am not divine travel goo, but fixed immortal travel goo. Ha ha ha. Fixed immortal travel goo flew around verdant great sun, happily dancing, but suddenly shouted, Ah, oh no, verdant great sun, look at your wings. Under the light of the sun, Verdant Great Sun's wings had expanded to three times of its original size. Do not fluster, I noticed it long ago, but so what? The larger my wings, the stronger they are, and the higher and faster I can fly. Verdant Great Sun laughed loudly. Quickly hide in the clouds, stop flying. Fixed immortal travel goo said worriedly. Don't worry, don't worry. Verdant Great Sun was not worried at all. The self-wings on his back grew larger and larger, becoming even larger than his body. Verdant Great Sun's speed also became faster and faster. Fixed Immortal Travel Goo, what do you think is above the Nine Heavens? He shot up towards greater altitudes. Stop flying, stop flying. If you fall down, I cannot save you. Fixed Immortal Travel Goo was very worried. What's the problem? How could I fall down? Look at my wings, how strong are they, how powerful are they? 
verdant great sun was just rebuking when suddenly his wings expanded to their limits and exploded. Losing his wings, verdant great sun fell towards the ground immediately. Eventually, he landed on the ground as an unrecognizable grotesque corpse. Renzu eldest son met his end. Southern border, Huo Tan Mountain. On the reddish-brown mountain rocks, there were some wine. Using the heat of Huo Tan Mountain, the wine was kept at a certain temperature. Sunlight shone down as Fang Yuan raised his wine cup, drinking it in one shot, sighing comfortably. Such soothing wine, it is meant to be drank at this temperature. Beside him, Bai Ningbing was also sitting, but did not touch the wine, instead staring at the direction of San Cha Mountain. There, the three light pillars shone up into the sky, shooting through the heavens. You are still drinking? It has been months, Three Kings' inheritance has opened twice already. Tai Mubai is controlling San Cha Mountain now and chased away all the demonic Gu Masters. These few months, we have been lurking on Huo Tan Mountain, are we going to continue watching? Bai Ningbing said unhappily. She was not afraid of death, only seeking thrills in life. Maybe she was spurred on by the four old-timers of Tai Clan, or maybe because Fang Yuan's strength had surpassed her, these few months she had been cultivating non-stop, not caring about her rising aptitude. The way I see it, we can still enter the Three Kings' inheritance as long as he find the opportunity and wait for Tai Mubai to enter the inheritance, we can strike. With our strength, no one on San Cha Mountain can stop us. Bai Ningbing's words were very aggressive. But Fang Yuan was relaxing and had a chill expression. No worries, no rush. Tai Mubai is the glory of Tai clan, he is the previous clan leader, having rank 5 peak stage cultivation. He is such a high and mighty character. Compared to him, we are just rats under his feet. Let him fly higher, higher and higher. Saying so, he raised his wine cup, pointing at San Cha Mountain, smiling lightly as he muttered, Come, Lord Senior Tai Mu Bai, this junior offers you a toast. Bai Ning Bing glanced at Fang Yuan, but only saw that pair of black eyes, dark like the abyss, unfathomable. Chapter 372 Land Spirit Afterlife of the Gu Immortal Central Continent, Who Immortal Blessed Land a tall and large crystal mountain and river was at the center of the blessed land. Its name is Dang Hun Mountain, pink throughout, emitting the colors of dreams and illusions. At this moment, the elite disciples from the ten sects were like ants, trying hard to ascend the mountain. Somewhere near the mountain waste, Fang Zheng was full of sweat, his face pale as his fingers gripped the mountain walls, gasping heavily. As long as any living beings got close to Dang Hun Mountain, they souls will have to endure the pain of vibrating shocks. The higher Fang Zheng climbed, the more he felt dizzy, like his soul was being blown away by the wind, he felt like he was about to collapse. Tsk tsk, you can't hold on anymore? Then give up. Look how much you've fallen behind the others, how can you possibly win? Why don't you just give up, you have no hope left? who immortal land spirit pouted her tiny pink lips as she appeared before Fang Zheng. Who immortal land spirit was like a little girl, snowy white skin glowing with pinkness. Her shiny large black eyes emitted an innocent gaze. What is most attractive is behind her back, where a snow white and pure fox tail grew. It was furry and fluffy, extremely cute, and makes one want to play with it. At this time, who immortal land spirit was sitting in the air, watching Fang Zheng as she made fun of him. Fang Zheng was not shocked. After climbing to this height from the mountain foot, the land spirit had appeared many times, watching their progress every time, and was very playful. Fang Zheng had found the method to deal with her, that is, to ignore her. As expected, seeing that Fang Zheng was silent, who immortal land spirit's mouth pouted even more. You're a stupid lad, so boring. Please don't become my master, otherwise my life would be boring to death. Hee <laughs> hee, the others are more fun. Saying so, she vanished, going to find the other elite disciples. After Hu Immortal Land Spirit left in Fang Zheng Aperture, the spirit incubating flea vibrated as Lord Sky Crane's voice sounded out. Fang Zheng, work hard and hang in there. 
Now is not the time for me to appear, you have to at least get past the mountain waste, only then can we have a chance of victory. Endure, you have to endure, the strength of the soul can be excavated, you have a lot of potential left to uncover. Hearing his master's encouragement, Fang Zheng's dazed expression became firm again. He replied in his heart, Master, don't worry. I will endure, I am just taking a break and regulating my breath. Pausing momentarily, he asked again, Master, I have a question, what is a land spirit? Earlier that who immortal land spirit was near me, if I catch her, would I be able to skip the climbing? Lord Sky Crane was shocked, scolding. You lad, you have no fear due to cluelessness, even trying to scheme against the land spirit. Do you know how the land spirit is formed? After the goo immortal dies, the remaining fragments of their will and soul mixed with the blessed land's powers, thus forming that spiritual body. What, the land spirit was a goo immortal? Fang Zheng was shocked. That's right, the Hu immortal land spirit you saw was formed from the former Gu immortal Bai Hu. But without her past life's memories, merely her lingering desires remain. Don't think of her as powerless inside this blessed land, she can manipulate the heavenly power freely and can directly combat a Gu immortal. She can seal any rank 1 to 5 Gu worm at will. Only rank 6 immortal Gu worms can move freely in the blessed land. Fang Zheng, you are too bold. Climb this mountain properly, do not have any unrealistic thoughts. Lord Sky Crane chided. Yes, master, I will not dare to any more. Fang Zheng nodded, admitting his fault in his heart. After scolding Fang Zheng, Lord Sky Crane's tone eased, encouraging. So now you know. As long as you become the owner of the blessed land, you can get the land spirit's loyalty. Within the blessed land, the land spirit is an existence equal to a Gu immortal. Fang Zheng listened as he was completely stunned. What sort of strong aid was that? The assistance of a Gu immortal equivalent, Lord Sky Crane continued. However, the land spirit cannot leave the blessed land. The true essence of the Hu immortal inheritance is this wide and rich blessed land. Fang Zheng, you are still too low level and the things you do not know are simply too many. Wait till you inherit this blessed land, you will slowly understand what sort of help a blessed land can bring to a Gu Master. You are simply too lucky encountering a blessed land with a spirit and also receiving the sex help. If it is a blessed land without a spirit, that would be greatly inferior. Fang Zheng asked curiously, Master, what happens to a blessed land without a spirit? Lord Sky Crane answered, A blessed land without a spirit is destined to be destroyed. Like a slumbering divine dragon, anyone can eat its flesh and drink its blood. Until it dies, it will not awaken. Fang Zheng, after you become the lord of the blessed land, you have to give the resources within the blessed land to the sect. Immortal Crane sect had nurtured you this far, you have to give back to the sect. When the sect is stronger, the protection towards you will increase as well. You understand this logic, right? I understand. It was Immortal Crane sect who adopted me. Without the sect's help, I would not have any chance in getting the inheritance. I would not even be able to exact revenge on my brother. If there is a possibility, I not only want to repay the sect, but I also want to revive you, Master. Fang Jing nodded. His vision was clear as he held great gratitude and admiration towards Immortal Crane's sect. Lord Sky Crane heard this and laughed dryly. Foolish disciple, how can people revive so easily? I am glad you had the thought. The light of glory of the righteous path shone on San Cha Mountain. Under Tai Mu Bai's influence, Three Kings' inheritance became the righteous path's garden of exploration. Any demonic Gu master was chased out and not allowed to step into the mountain. Tai Mubai is too overbearing, fencing up the area and refusing to let anyone in. He is a senior expert, yet his greed knows no bound. Eating the meat and bones, but refusing to let us drink even the soup. Most importantly, Three Kings' inheritance's opening time is shortening and the three pillars are getting weaker. Just as Little Beast King said a month ago, this goo immortal blessed land is decaying and will face destruction soon. 
the demonic goo masters were feeling flustered and anxious, such a rare opportunity in front of them, yet they are denied entry, only able to watch in vain. Stuff the courageous to death and starve the timid to death, brothers, let's charge up together, no matter how powerful that Tai Mu Bai is, can he kill all of us? Someone shouted, encouraging the crowd. We can wait for Tai Mu Bai to enter the inheritance and then go up the mountain. That way, there will be less obstruction. Someone suggested. There's a problem with this solution. When we come out of the inheritance, so would Tai Mu Bai. Moreover, nobody knows where we would appear in San Chan Mountain, we might get slaughtered by the righteous path. Someone rebuked. So what? Danger lurks when seeking wealth, how can we get the cub without entering the tiger's den? Wanting to gain something without taking a risk, how can there be such a good thing in this world? Just as the demonic path members were shouting and discussing, they heard the wailings of a hundred ghosts near them, and the bright blue sky suddenly became filled with dark clouds. Within the dark clouds, a shrill voice said, Gagaga, Tai Mu Bai, you came out of your cultivation, why did you not say hi to your old friend him? The dark clouds moved rapidly, forming a face, having an aquiline nose and deep eye sockets, staring at San Cha Mountain. This laughter and entrance, it is Lord Wu Gui from our demonic path. I remember now, Lord Wu Gui is also rank 5 peak stage, an expert from the older generation, he is Tai Mu Bai's lifetime rival. There's nothing amazing about the righteous path, we have experts in the demonic path too. Go, Senior Wu Gui. At once, the demonic path members cheered, their eyes glowing as some shouted while others screamed. The dark clouds moved closer, shrouding San Cha Mountain quickly. Such a grand entrance like an entire army, at once even sunlight was covered, causing San Cha Mountain to fall into darkness. The righteous Gu masters were all fearful. He has such an overwhelming aura. This old demon Wu Gui, he is still alive? Old demon Wu Gui, he is over hundreds of years old. Back when he was breaking through to rank 6, he was disturbed and ruined by the young and inexperienced Lord Tai Mu Bai unintentionally. Thus, he felt extreme hatred and had slaughtered Tai clansmen many times as revenge. Wu Gui, have you been hiding under a mountain all these years? Are you here to experience defeat once again? At the mountain peak, golden light burst out. In the golden light, Tai Mu Bai stood upright his hands behind his back, speaking calmly towards the rolling dark clouds. HMPH, you won by merely one move a decade ago, you really think you are better. Little bastard, today you will die without a proper corpse. The dark clouds moved like steam out of boiling water, turning into a large hand and grabbing towards Tai Mubai. This hand was extremely large, larger than a small-sized mountain. It gave off an impressive aura, stunning people, and gave off the feeling of grabbing the moon and stars. The dark clouds looked slow, but were extremely fast, grabbing quickly. Corrosive smoke rose, as the hand covered an entire mountain peak, causing the trees and rocks it touched to disintegrate. Old Tricks Tai Mu Bai snorted, moving his leg and turning into a golden light, tearing apart the dark clouds, flying towards the sky. The golden light flew like a shooting star, like lightning, as it crashed into the dark clouds. Almost the next moment, there was a thunder-like explosion, going off like firecrackers. The dark clouds moved violently as golden light flickered. The two rank five peak stage goo masters fought inside the clouds. Although the details could not be seen, outsiders could feel how powerful they were just from the aftershocks sent out by them. Wu Gui, when I just started by Gu Journey, you were already an established expert. Back then, I had to avoid you if I met you. But fifty years later, I could escape from you. Eighty years later, you could do nothing to me. A hundred years later, you lost to me. And now, after another decade today, you will lose your life. Tai Mu Bai's voice came from within the dark clouds. Huff, 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 Tai. Mu? Bai? You are too arrogant, you were lucky to be born in Tai Clan, relying on Tai Clan, you can speak so arrogantly. If I had the same resources as you, 
I would have become a Gu immortal by now. Wu Gui screamed in an unstable tone. Evidently, during the intense battle earlier, Tai Mu Bai had the advantage. But, did you think I have no backup? Ha ha ha. Wu Gui breathed roughly, but started laughing wildly. As he laughed, a third rank five peak stage aura burst out. Tai Mu Bai, did you miss me all these years? A gloomy and shrill voice traveled far and wide. Tai Mu Bai could not hide his shock. Kumo, to think you came. Chapter 373, Intense Battle of Rank Fives The situation at Sancha Mountain had a violent change. After Tai Mu Bai suppressed Sancha Mountain for the most part of the year, his old enemy from the demonic path appeared. But Wu Gui, who was also rank 5 peak stage, could not beat Tai Mu Bai, who made his debut later. The situation that followed was beyond everyone's expectations. The similarly rank 5 peak stage Ku Mo suddenly made his appearance. The battle situation immediately changed to two demonic paths rank 5 pincering Tai Mu Bai. Righteous path figures cursed at the demonic path's shamelessness, while the demonic path figures continued to rush into San Cha Mountain and cheer loudly. Uncountable gazes fanatically looked at the air. A battle between rank 5 peak stage Gu Masters was rarely seen much less the battle between three rank 5 peak stage Gu Masters. Tai Mu Bai could suppress Wu Gui, but fighting one against two was far beyond his ability. But Wu Gui and Ku Mo were both demonic Gu Masters, and although they had allied, they were similarly guarded against each other. Like this, the three entered a stalemate. From the sky covered by the black clouds and fierce wind, an enormous and deafening explosion occurred. Golden light burst out, a four-clawed golden dragon tore the black clouds and moved the wind and rain, its dragon roar spreading over a long distance. HMPH, merely a rank four golden dragon goo, did you take that out to make a fool of yourself? Kumo let out a disdainful snarl. Look at how I tear you to pieces. When his words landed, there was a loud sound. The golden dragon let out a miserable whine and fell down towards the ground. Just as the golden dragon was about to lose its life, a golden whirlwind blew towards it. The four-clawed golden dragon was surrounded by the whirlwind and its heavy injuries were instantly healed. It raised its head and roared before rising up again. This is a rank 4 Golden Breeze Goo. Its healing ability is extremely powerful and is comparable to rank 5 Goo. The spectating Li Zion narrowed his eyes when he recognized this golden whirlwind. Don't even think about it. Wu Gui suddenly gave an unearthly cry. This unearthly cry was extremely ear-piercing like the cawing of ravens. The spectators, be it righteous path or demonic path, felt dizzy and nauseous. Following the unearthly cry, a shining jet black halo shot out and firmly collided against the four-clawed golden dragon. The four-clawed golden dragon could not resist it and exploded. Dazzling light burst forth like a small sun, causing all the spectators to close their eyes. The sound of the explosion was so loud, it seemed to burst everyone's eardrums. A fierce wind pressure soon followed, blowing towards all directions. The wind blew countless trees and stones, burying many goo masters alive. The berserk wind rose as if in defiance of heaven and even dispersed the dark clouds covering the sky. The spectators regained their senses after a long while and retreated in fear while looking up. In the sky, three figures were confronting each other. Tai Mu Bai was wearing a golden chainmail, it was the rank 4 golden coat goo, and had exemplary defense. His whole body was covered with a layer of gold-red light. It was the rank 4 golden Aurora Goo and could allow the Goo Master to fly. Wu Gui was stepping on a dark cloud, his lips were sharply sticking forward like a black beak. And Ku Mo was slowly flapping a pair of bone wings on his back. His whole body was covered with bone armor and there were all kinds of colorful sharp spikes growing out from his elbows, knees, shoulders and other places. At first look, he looked like a malevolent, multicolored, human-shaped hedgehog. The confrontation only lasted for a short few breaths of time. The three attacked at the same time as quickly as lightning. In the sky, a golden red light shuttled back and forth, 
breaking the void and was as sharp as a sword. A black light sword, moving at one time and stopping at next, it was strange and cunning. A multicolored light charged and crashed and displayed the most valiant manner. Ordinary naked eyes were already unable to make out the progress of the battle. The absolute majority of people could only hear the unceasing explosions that continued to ravage their eardrums. Suddenly, a golden light fiercely streaked across the sky like a blade towards an area in the middle of the mountain. Mountain stones and boulders were crushed into fine powder, and there appeared a twenty feet wide and over hundred feet tall gorge. The nearby unlucky spectators were all chopped into minced meat. Suddenly, a raven's caw echoed like the thunder. Hundreds of unlucky goo masters' head burst immediately. From time to time, bone spikes rained down freely from the sky. Many goo masters could not evade in time and were pierced through, nailed at the ground and lost their lives. The battle had reached the climax, the three sides moved without restraint. We can't endure even the ripples of a battle between rank five peak stage goo masters. Too terrifying, too terrifying, we need to leave quickly. If we keep on watching, we might have to pay with our lives. Everyone was scared witless and hurried out of San Cha Mountain one after another. Even Lai Zion, who may err and others also did not dare to stay here. On San Cha Mountain, only the rank four peak stage Yi Huo, Kong Rai Tian, Long King Tian, Yi Chong and Wu Shen Tong remained. Even so, their expressions were serious and all their concentration was fixed on the battle with their nerves stretched tight as a bowstring. They were ready to escape the moment there was even a little danger. Soon, these rank four peak stage goo masters also could not continue staying there, because the three rank five peak stage goo masters used their rank five goo. Tai Mubai's turn gold goo flew everywhere. No matter what it shot through, whether they were rocks, grasses, trees, flowers, birds, fishes, or beasts, they would turn into golden sculpture, their life force extinguished. Ku Mo's soft bones goo made any bones within fifty miles of it turn soft and become a puddle of bone paste. And Wu Gui's pitch black goo spread darkness everywhere, any goo worms under rank six that touched it would receive different degrees of restrictions. In this world, the higher the rank of the goo, the stronger and rarer they were. Precious goo of rank four were already hard to purchase and rank five goo were practically not circulated in the market. As for rank six immortal goo, every one of them were one of its kind. Fang Yuan had reached rank six goo immortal's realm in his previous life, but he could only refine a rank six spring autumn cicada. As for most of the Goo Masters, rank 5 Goo were already very hard to get. The most important thing in a battle between rank 5 Goo Masters was the power of their rank 5 Goo. This is the power of a rank 5 Goo. Terrifying, rank 4 defensive Goo can hardly resist it, let alone rank 3 Goo. From some faraway corner, Bai Ningbing observed the battle in San Cha Mountain intently, her blue pupils flickering with grave light. This was not the first time she saw a battle between rank five goo masters. She had seen it once before at King Mao Mountain. But the fighting strength of these three rank five goo masters were clearly much more powerful than Lord Sky Crane and first generation Guyu. This was because first gen Guyu and Lord Sky Crane were decrepit rank five goo masters who were struggling at death's door and used all kinds of ways to prolong their lifespan. First Gen Guyu hibernated all year round in Blood Coffin and changed himself into a zombie, neither human nor ghost. And Lord Sky Crane was not much better, he came from Central Continent, his battle prowess was suppressed to some extent in Southern Border. But these three rank five Gu Masters Bai Ningbing was looking at were all at their peak state. Their intense battle naturally gave her spirit an even stronger impact. If I face such rank five goo masters, I will not be able to resist one move of theirs, and there is no hope of even escaping. Bai Ningbing looked at the battle for a long time and subconsciously clenched her fists, deeply realizing the gap between her and these rank five peak stage powers like Tai Mubai and the rest. Rank five peak stage goo masters were at the peak of the mortal world.
and emperor among Gu masters. Especially when they used rank 5 Gu, the strength they could bring out could destroy mountains if they came across mountains, split apart rivers if they came across rivers. Such an enormous power gave a feeling that it could not be stopped. This is the show you were waiting for. Bai Ningbing retrieved her gaze and looked at Fang Yuan standing beside her with a flash of understanding. Tai Mu Bai is fighting one against two. It seems after this battle the structure of Sancha Mountain will have a complete change. Demonic path will suppress righteous path. You were waiting for this opportunity since several months ago, right? Fang Yuan calmly gazed into the distance and shook his head indifferently. Rank 5 Gu are very rare, many rank 5 Gu masters don't have even one rank 5 Gu and can only use use 4 Gu. Thus, a rank 5 Gu master's battle strength is determined by the rank 5 Gu they hold and their amount. Demonic Gu masters have always lacked resources and can mostly only rely on luck or fate. Ku Mo and Wu Gui have one or two rank 5 Gu with them. But Tai Mu Bai is different, he has a huge background called Tai Clan, he should at least have three rank 5 Gu on him. Bai Ning Bing's expression moved. You mean Tai Mu Bai will be the winner of this battle? Fang Yuan, however, shook his head. Gu Worms are Gu Masters' trump card. The Gu Masters can be targeted against once their Gu are exposed. Tai Mu Bai will not easily reveal all his trump cards. From the start, this battle had neither a winner nor a loser. Bai Ning Bing was a smart person and immediately understood it after Fang Yuan gave her the clues. No matter how intense this battle was, it was only a probe. Why did Tai Mu Bai, Wu Gui and Ku Mo came here? Was it purely for revenge against each other? Impossible. For people like them, their greatest goal is to break away from mortal and charge through to rank 6 Gu Immortal Realm, thereby gaining a longer life. These three were at the peak, looking down on all mortals and had rich experiences, gratitude and grudges could not move them, each of their action held their own deep purpose. These three chose Sancha Mountain for their battle instead of any other places, so their purpose is already clear three king's inheritance. Bai Ning Bing's eyes flickered with a pondering light. Three kings were rank five Gu masters, their inheritance contains rank five Gu worms. Each one of these rank five Gu can greatly increase their strength. With a treasure in front of them, how could they battle without care? unless there is an extremely huge imbalance between the battle strength of the two sides. But from the current situation, it clearly is not so. So this battle can only end in a draw. The confusing battle situation suddenly became extremely clear. Bai Ning Bing subconsciously looked at Fang Yuan. When everyone's hearts were throbbing intensely because of the intense battle of rank 5 Gu Masters, he was still so calm like he was a spectator watching something of no concern. But was it really a matter of no concern? Bai Ning Bing rejected this thought inwardly, no one knew clearer than her regarding the thirst Fang Yuan had towards three kings' inheritance. But even under such desire, he could still restrain his impulse. Facing such an opponent, Bai Ning Bing's heart felt incomparably heavy. Such unfathomable shrewdness, how will I be able to take the Yang Gu that can turn me back to a male from him? Chapter 374 Calamity and Tribulation of the Blessed Land Half a month later, on a certain peak in Sancha Mountain, a group of ash-gray mountain apes close to a thousand in numbers tightly surrounded Tai Ruo Nan while screeching and screaming. Tai Ruo Nan took in a deep breath, she suddenly waved her hand and shot a large cloud of golden needle goo. Golden needle goo was not a natural goo, but was a goo created by Tai clan's goo masters. Every golden needle goo was a rank 2 goo, their length was around an index finger and were like thin golden needles. Golden needle goo shot through the apes. Some stood on the spot without being able to move, some died from poison and some were driven into a frenzy and actually began attacking their nearby companions. Tai Ruo Nan repeatedly shot out golden needles. There was chaos among the mountain apes and they suffered huge losses. In a sorry figure and while screeching miserably, they made their escape. Soon, the noisy battlefield quietened down. 
large numbers of mountain apes were on the ground. Some were dead and some were at their last breaths. Tai Ruo Nan slowly walked past them and shot out golden needle goo again. But this time, these golden needle goo had healing effects. They shot into the mountain apes and turned into balls of golden light, moving back and forth between their injuries. Many mountain apes recovered their movement ability. Golden needle goo by itself was not wondrous, but when matched with poison liquid goo, it could turn into poison needle. When matched with stiff goo, it could make the enemies unable to move a single step. When matched with chaotic mind goo, it could cause chaos among the enemies making them unable to differentiate between their allies and enemies. And when matched with vitality goo, it had healing properties. Tai Ruo Nan had spent around seven to eight days to be proficient in the combination of these four types of battle tactics. Thus, she was able to defeat close to a thousand mountain apes by herself. Ruo Nan, this child has an outstanding talent with high comprehension, and more importantly, her nature is tenacious and resolute. She is indeed someone who will become a pillar of Tai clan. Tai Mu Bai watched this nearby with no expression on his face, but his heart was full of praises. This old Tai clan leader had seen the rise of countless talents in his life, and also witnessed the fall of innumerable geniuses. He was very clear. In a dangerous and difficult environment, many outstanding geniuses would emerge. But talent was only one aspect. What mattered was the nature of the geniuses. If a genius could put up with hardships and endure loneliness, they would definitely have great accomplishments in the future. A genius that had poor disposition could only be a shooting star, shining for only an instant. Why would Tai Mu Bai teach Tai Ruo Nan? On one hand, Tai Ruo Nan was blood related to Tai Zhu Ling, who had certain relationship with him. On the other hand, Tai Ruo Nan had been polished like limestone after a series of trials. All traces of impatience had gone leaving behind stability and perseverance. Tai Ruo Nan was like an unpolished jade that let out dazzling light after being polished slightly. Old Clan Leader Tai Ruo Nan climbed up the peak towards Tai Mu Bai and cupped her hands in greeting. The girl was full of admiration and respect towards this old man. Half a month ago, this old man Tai Mu Bai fought against two rank 5 experts of the demonic path by himself. He first used rank 5 turn gold goo to contend with the two demons easily. Then he used rank 5 liquid metal goo to make these two experts back out and weaken their fighting spirits. The battle finally ended with both sides relenting. Tai Mu Bai's strength was like a basin of cold water that poured on the hearts of the demonic goo masters, causing their rising flames of angers to weaken in an instant. The conclusion of the battle was that both righteous and daimonic paths could contend for three kings' inheritance, but everyone could clearly see how good Tai Mu Bai was and that he had not used his full strength. Good. Being able to grasp this flexible battle tactic in such a short time is remarkable. Tai Mu Bai praised indifferently as he casually waved his hand. Whoosh! A large cloud of golden needle goo shot out. However, different from Tai Ruo Nan's Golden Needle Goo, the Golden Needle Goo Tai Mu Bai commanded were extremely small like raindrops. When they moved in the sky, they were like a cloud of golden fog. The golden fog moved with the wind and brushed past an area of boulders. Pitter-patter sounds as if thousands of silkworms were eating mulberries came from the giant boulders. Tai Ruo Nan's pupils shrunk, immediately realizing the amazing aspect of this move. The golden fog infiltrated and penetrated the boulders, creating countless tiny holes in them. The trees nearby the boulders were also pierced through, all signs of life within them extinguished instantly. If someone were struck by these goo, their whole body and insides would be perforated and destroyed. It was a really terrifying killer move. Tai Mu Bai casually waved his hand and threw out three golden needle goo. These three golden needles were, however, different. They were thick and long. Normal golden needle goo had a finger-sized length, but these three golden needles had palm-sized length. The three golden needle goo flew and pierced into a mountain ape's head. 
one shot like a perpendicular lightning straight into the mountain ape from the top of its head, while the other two entered through the left and right temples, the needles almost completely entering the mountain ape's head with only a small portion remaining on the outside. This mountain ape had been healed by Tai Ruo Nan and was just making its escape when it was struck by the golden needles. The mountain ape let out a painful scream and leaped a couple of times, kneeling in front of Tai Mubai. The ape's eyes were wide open with incomparable panic, dread and anger. The strange thing was it could not control its body and kneeled down reverentially and without making any movements. It was not even able to let out a shout. Tai Ryo Nan had never expected to see such a peculiar scene and was stupefied for a while. Tai Mu Bai laughed and looked at the mountain ape at his feet, he indifferently said, Golden Needle Goo combined with Create Fog Goo can form Golden Fog. This golden fog looks faint and weak, but is actually extremely powerful and is specialized in breaking through Goo Master's defense. When I was 28 and was roaming southern border, I used this move to dominate the region of Luchuan River. Tai Mu Bai paused for a while and continued, Golden Needle Goo combined with Puppet Control Goo can take control of living bodies. When I was 42 and my cultivation advanced to rank 4 peak stage, I ended my closed cultivation and began to roam the world to test my skills. When I arrived at Taimu Mountain, I was attacked by a group of over 50 demonic path mountain bandits. I used this move to make 38 of them defect and finally captured all of them and got rid of these evil beings. Tai Ruo Nan became more fascinated the more she heard. Since her early years, she followed her father and traveled everywhere, and she had heard of this old clan leader's heroic deeds. The old clan leader had a great aptitude and revealed his talent the moment he started cultivating, becoming the number one youth star of Tai clan at that time. He also lived up to others' expectations, advancing to rank four peak stage before 50. He ended his secluded cultivation and roamed southern border, crossing mountains and rivers to test his skills and made a name for himself. After returning to Tai Clan, he became the clan leader and brought Tai Clan to new heights. For a while, Tai Clan was in such limelight that it made Wu Clan, Shang Clan, and the rest lose their splendor. His whole life was filled with glory and brilliance. He had countless battle achievements under him whether it was his lone achievements while roaming the southern border or leading a group of heroes to eliminate evil he had few losses. The way he did his work was unyielding and domineering, daring to stand directly up to the enemies. Many of his enemies would be terror-stricken at the mention of him when he was reigning. Even righteous path figures would feel mental pressure when they heard Tai Mu Bai's name. Right now, as Tai Ruo Nan listened to the old clan leader recall those olden days indifferently, she became overwhelmed with emotions. She could not help imagining a scene. A hero at his prime, handsome and graceful, donning a blue robe, moved unhindered around the world. He defeated powerful enemies by himself, no one could block him and countless people watched him. However, time was ruthless, turning that young man into an elderly. But Tai Mu Bai was still Tai Mu Bai. Even if he was more old, it could not hide his glorious deeds. These battle accomplishments were a dazzling halo that covered his body, and even the layers of dust of history could not block its radiance. Lord Old Clan Leader, I will not let you down, Golden Needle Goo will not shame your name in my hands. Tai Ruo Nan spoke resolutely. The old man gratefully nodded and patted Tai Ruo Nan's shoulder. Child, you have a strong mind and our Tai clan's blood flows in your veins. You have to shoulder the responsibility of our Tai clan's children. I will teach you all that I know, and I hope that one day, you can be capable enough to raise the flag of Tai clan. I am leaving that little beast King Fang Zheng to you as your test, do you have confidence? I have confidence and also have a plan. Old clan leader, you can rest assured, Fang Zheng has already completely fallen into the demonic path, I will definitely retrieve his head. Tai Ruo Nan's eyes shone with resolute light. 
Good, do not be arrogant in victory or discouraged in defeat, you are able to get out of your shock and derive strength from your tribulation, this is something that is impossible for many youngsters. As long as you maintain this, you will definitely become the glory of Tai Clan. Now I shall teach you the principle behind these two tactics along with my insights and experience in them, as well as all the other different combinations that can be derived. Like this, one taught diligently and another did her best to learn. After over an hour, Tai Mu Bai finished teaching everything. Good, you can ask me anything you are unclear about. Tai Ruo Nan had outstanding comprehension ability and had already engraved all the teachings into her mind. However, she thought for a while and asked, These days I have found that the opening time of Three Kings Inheritance has been getting shorter and the amount of Gu Masters that can enter has also been getting lesser. The three light pillars are no longer as thick and bright as before. Right now there has been many rumors saying the Blessed Land is already nearing its end. Is this true? Tai Mu Bai nodded. It is indeed so. You are still not ready to learn some things. All living things exist in balance with darkness. There is light. With water there is fire. With blessing there is calamity. His gaze turned towards the peak of San Cha Mountain and sighed. Every blessed land will face earthly calamity every ten years and heavenly tribulation every hundred years. This blessed land originated from a mysterious Gu immortal from ancient times and was later was inherited by the three kings and remodeled into this inheritance site. This blessed land is already old, its lifespan is almost at its end. A land spirit could prolong this time, but unfortunately there is no land spirit here. A blessed land without a land spirit is an enormous boat that is sinking. Anyone can enter inside and plunder the treasures within. The more they plunder, the bigger the holes in this giant boat and the quicker it would sink. This goo immortal blessed land is already nearing its end and will only last for less than ten years before it is destroyed due to the exhaustion of immortal essence. Chapter 375 Gathering of Experts To think that even blessed lands face destruction, Tai Ruo Nan heard the secret and sighed lightly. How can there be any existence in this world that is indestructible? The cycle of heavenly fate, the competition of all living beings, in this wide universe, we mortals are like a single speck of sand at the bottom of an entire sea, small and insignificant. Only by advancing to a goo immortal can we surpass mortality and have our own foundation, turning from sand into an island, having the ability to resist the sea waves. Tai Mubai's tone was full of lamentation. When the blessed land faces destruction, wouldn't the people inside be in great danger? Tai Ruo Nan asked again. That is right. Tai Mubai nodded. The moment the blessed land vanishes, the wind of assimilation will blow, fusing heaven and earth together, as everything inside the blessed land would turn into the most basic primeval essence in this world. This wind's power can sweep away all dust and particle, even Gu Immortals fear it, because even Gu Immortals can be destroyed by it. There is such a powerful wind, Tai Ruo Nan was shocked beyond words, showing great worry in her eyes. Tai Mu Bai waved his hand. No worry, I have already stepped into the blessed land many times, I have gained deep understanding of it, and have always been observing and learning about it. The blessed land is indeed weakening, but there is still a long time before it faces destruction. During this period, the heavenly power in the blessed land will weaken, and the restrictions towards us Gu masters would decrease. Slowly, we would be able to use one or two Gu, and then three or four, five or six. Eventually, the blessed land would be full of loopholes, and form an entrance where we can enter and exit at will. Tai Mu Bai looked afar, his gaze deep and filled with knowledge, like he could predict the future. At the final period, that will be the true decisive battle of Three Kings' inheritance. As the restriction from the blessed land is gone, anyone can use their full power. They can plunder and battle to their heart's extent. By then, Sancha Mountain would not only have three rank five Gu Masters, that would truly be the gathering of experts, the rise of snakes and dragons. Tai Ruo Nan felt a flash of inspiration and realized. 
she finally understood why Tai Mu Bai did not fight to the death with those two demonic goo masters. That is because his future enemies were not only these two. Fighting with all he had so early on would only benefit others. Towards the end of the Three Kings' inheritance, the goo masters would receive greater and better rewards. Those who truly understood the Blessed Land had already been preparing for the final battle. Central Continent Tian Tai Mountain Who immortal blessed land? I am finally at the mountain waste. Fang Zheng breathed roughly, sweat dripping from his forehead. His arms and legs were numb and sore, they had no energy left. Using his own strength and climbing to this level, it had squeezed out all the potential he had in his soul. The mountain winds blew and a strong feeling of dizziness hit him, causing Fang Zheng to feel like he was going to fall. His entire vision was spinning, after his soul was expended to the max, he even lost the ability to think. In his days, he heard from within his aperture, the incubating flea. Good, very good, my good disciple, you have endured this far, it was not easy. You have succeeded, now it will be up to your master me. Saying so, Fang Zheng felt a formless energy flowing into the deepest part of his soul. The falling feeling immediately disappeared like a child who was learning how to walk, but was suddenly assisted by an adult. His vision became clear and Fang Zheng's dizziness vanished at a rapid speed. Fang Zheng breathed in deeply several times, he felt fantastic, like a traveler in the desert about to die of thirst, but suddenly drinking fresh water. Or like someone who had worked non-stop all the time, suddenly sleeping seven days and seven nights. Everything became great, he felt awesome. Good disciple, make use of your time and climb quickly, Lord Sky Crane urged. Yes, master, Fang Zheng's eyes were shining like a tiger's. He raised his head and saw Feng Jin Huang and others leading far ahead, but they were getting slower. Fang Zheng felt an unprecedented sense of confidence. I can do it, with master's help, I can definitely defeat these geniuses and became the sole inheritor of who immortal blessed land, Fang Zheng, hang in there. After encouraging himself for a bit, Fang Zheng continued climbing. His movements became fast and steady, his speed was extremely fast, like he was bursting out his second wind. This performance attracted people's attention and emphasis. After Hu Immortal Blessed Land opened, it was connected to the outside world. Thus, the ten Gu Immortals outside the Blessed Land immediately found out Fang Zheng's weird condition. A. Eh? This child, he was at his limit and was about to be eliminated, how did he suddenly get so energetic? Something strange, this speed is even faster than Fang Jin Huang and the others. This junior is from Immortal Crane Sect, so that's it, I see. The ten Gu Immortals exchanged their thoughts and someone quickly found out Fang Zheng's trump card. Pi Feng Yang, you sure are generous. Spirit incubating flea is not precious, but to ensure the flea still works, you used one's own way Gu, didn't you? He Feng Yang was one of Immortal Crane Sect's supreme elders. He had a rank six, one's own way Gu, everyone knew that. One's own way Gu, it allowed other Gu worms to operate in the blessed land. It was an expenditure Gu, only usable for three times. After three times, it would vanish into thin air. He Feng Yang, you had great schemes, using this secret chess piece. I'm flattered. Among the youngsters, Myriad Dragon Dock has Ying Sheng Jai, Spirit Affinity House has Feng Jin Huang, Spirit Butterfly Valley has Xiao Kai Zing, we immortal crane sect cannot contend, thus we had to do this. He Feng Yang was very modest and low-key. The other Gu immortals could only laugh dryly. They had their own rank six Gu worms, but they did not have one's own way Gu. They could not provide such assistance. Rank six Gu worms were immortal Gu, one in the world. At any point in time in the whole wide world, only one exists. Immortal Gu were so much rarer than rank 5 Gu worms, many rank 6 immortals do not even have one immortal Gu. Back in Fang Yuan's previous life, he became an immortal. 
But to refine his first rank six spring autumn cicada, he spent a massive amount of time and effort. The moment he succeeded, the righteous path attacked him. Their motive was the immortal goo. The ten goo immortals here, because they relied on their sex, they all had their trump cards. But even then, they only had one to two immortal goo. He Fong Yan had the one's own way goo. That means that other goo immortals did not. The most important thing was, He Feng Yang's act did not exceed their bottom line, nor did he break the rules of the game. The other Gu immortals could only watch from here, unable to interfere. It is a pity my immortal Gu specializes in attack. If I use it, that would be attacking the Hu immortal inheritance, it would not work. Although I have a defensive immortal Gu to protect the soul, my disciples do not have the immortal essence needed to activate it. Otherwise, who immortal inheritance would be ours for sure. The results are not determined yet. This disciple from Immortal Crane sect has the help of the spirit incubating flea and has a huge advantage. But he was lagging behind from the start, we will have to see what happens from now. Eighty years ago, He Feng Yang used the One's Own Wei Gu. This is the second time. That means the One's Own Wei Gu in his hand can only be used one more time. He paid such a huge price only to gain an advantage in competing for the inheritance. The other Gu immortals assessed and decided to remain observers, not making their moves yet. On Sancha Mountain, three pillars of light shot into the sky. The three kings' inheritance opened again, strongly attracting all the southern border Gu masters. Just as Tai Mu Bai said, on Sancha Mountain, experts started to gather and a storm was brewing. Did you hear? Just yesterday, Lai Fei Le came to San Cha Mountain. Ah, you mean sturdy as a mountain, Lai Fei Le? Soon, another established expert came to San Cha Mountain. Lai Fei Le's cultivation was rank 4 upper stage, an earth path Gu master. His title was sturdy as a mountain, an expert in defense. He was Lai clan's rising star and was nurtured greatly by the clan. But this person was dedicated towards pursuing strength. Dedication after losing one's direction becomes obsession. To pursue the greatest strength, he killed people to refine Gu and was not accepted by the righteous path, becoming a demonic path cultivator. Lai Fei Le was only the start in the month after more and more established Gu masters arrived at San Cha Mountain. The enslavement path Gu Master Zhang Sanson, when he was rank 3 peak stage, he killed a rank 4 Gu Master. Now that he was rank 4 middle stage, people called him the enslavement master. The righteous path expert Tao Zai. He had a famous rank 5 healing Gu that was renowned in southern border spirit Peach Gu. There was also Yun Liu Tian, young clan leader of young clan, wind path Gu master, reaching rank 3 peak stage at age 23. Right now he was 35, a step away from rank 4 peak stage. More and more famous Gu masters, like sharks smelling blood, stepped into San Cha Mountain, competing for the three kings' inheritance and trying to get their share of the pie. These Gu masters had at least rank 3 upper stage cultivation and some were even rank 4 realm. A month later, Sancha Mountain saw its fourth rank 5 Gu Master, Wang Zio. He was the owner of Wu Mountain, a daimonic Gu Master, rank 5 poison cultivator, a true overlord of his area. Two months later, Wu Clan's Wu Lan Shan arrived. As the number one clan, Wu Clan had always been dominating southern border. The Wu Lan Shan they sent was the younger cousin of Wu Clan leader. Once she appeared, she held a great battle with Wang Zio. Although the battle ended in a draw, her performance showed she exceeded Ku Mo and Wu Gui. Another eight days later, Chu Jiu, who was famous among the daimonic cultivators, appeared on San Chao Mountain's mountain foot, causing a commotion. Chu Jiu was also rank 5, but had little battle strength. He was a healing Gu master, the famous killer ghost doctor, one of the four great doctors together with Dr. Su Shu, traveling Dr. Ju Zhai, and divine Dr. Sheng Shu. He had a strange personality, having this weird rule, anyone he heals needs to kill a person for him in return. He saves a life and takes another. Thus people call him Killer Ghost Doctor. 
he who walks by the river is bound to get his shoes wet. In this cruel world, Gu masters cannot avoid getting injured and sick, they will have to beg a doctor for help eventually. The four great doctors healed both demonic and righteous. Once the killer ghost doctor ascended Sancha Mountain, he was invited by Tai Mu Bai earnestly, and the two drank happily in a banquet. Time passed by quickly, the three kings' inheritance opened and closed, closed and opened. This day, three kings' inheritance opened again. At the mountain foot, two people appeared. Soon, people recognized them, screaming in shock. The black and white twin demons, they are here again, 